Linguistic determinism is the idea that the structure of language shapes the way we think in very subtle ways. And there's mounting evidence from linguistics and psychology and even Keith Chen's work in economics that this can be the case, that language structures may shape our thoughts. Though the idea is quite controversial in linguistics. Grammatical gender is when a language partitions nouns into masculine, feminine, and other obligatory agreement classes, so like neuter. And the idea that goes back to Benjamin Lee Whorf is that when you learn a language as a mother tongue that does this, so you're training your brain to think of which nouns are masculine and which nouns are feminine, that's a sort of nudge toward thinking of other aspects of society in the same way as partitioned into masculine jobs and feminine jobs, or masculine domains and feminine domains. We collect data on these different languages by going to reference grammars and language textbooks and all sorts of publicly available data sets, and in some cases even talking to translators to build a really rich data set characterizing the grammatical gender structure of about 4,300 languages. This is about uh, two-thirds of the world's languages, but it's about they cover about 99% of the world's population. Across countries, where you see a larger fraction of the population speaking a gender-native language, you see larger gender gaps in labor force participation and educational attainment. You see the same story within countries. If your mother tongue is a gender language, you see bigger gender gaps in women's educational attainment and also labor force participation, both in sub-Saharan Africa and in South Asia. So obviously the takeaway is not that some languages are good and some languages are bad. We think of this as sort of a nudge where if we know that we are predisposed to think of the world as partitioned in this way into masculine and feminine, it makes it easier for us to think about the right policy solutions to undo that tendency. Mm -hmm.